here back in some lovely path to nowhere. Sorry about the no upload yesterday. So I, I, I gotta give you guys, gotta give you guys the love and affection, right? The love and affection. You guys know that I have Kawakawa fully maxed out on the shackles. We really get to enjoy that. Luckily, we have the mode. Like I said, if you guys are ever interested in a character that's on a banner, you go to the events tab, you go to the suspect pursuit, and they are always there. Uh, so we can look at this one, go and let's try this little fun stage out and see what we can do more importantly uh i want to give another upload like do a double upload hopefully that helps out who the hell is this oh i'm like, <laughs> I'm like who, who the hell are you um, it's kk maxed out interesting we get like a we get like a double thing because i i actually like kk which i'm assuming like i said it means knock knock all right so let's first start off with your boy kawakawa Kawa Kawa and kk what it's like the same thing all right so let's check it out First, he has the attack. He's a tank, so you can see that his range is only when it's directly on top of him, which a little annoying. Wish he can, you know, reach out and touch somebody. That'd be nice. Uh, next up is going to be the protective beacon, which is his main thing. Uh, Kawa creates a protective beacon for a target allied center that lasts for the entire battle. An allied, uh, an allied with a protective beacon gains 1.5 of their max HP every two seconds. So it's a constant pulsing heal, right? So that's really good. Level it up, you can increase the restoration effect. Next up is the first passive. At the Kawakawa performs protective beacon, all protective beacons are activated and recovers the allied centers with 15.2 uh, 15 max HP. So when he first activates it, uh, whenever he activates it, everyone that's already had a beacon gets some love, which is pretty cool. I, I definitely like that because it allows you to keep healing and it's based off the other per and keep in mind, uh, of their max HP, the protective beacon. So it's not that like his HP doesn't matter in that thing. And so, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. I, I usually will say it's a bad thing. You really want it to scale off the person's, especially the tank's HP. So it always gives a fat heal. You scale HP on that unit. But there's not really gear in this game, right? It's mostly a little bit of gear, but it's mostly the passive effects from the crime branch, which we'll go over later. And I'm assuming it means that they're all max HP. But it's cool that they pulse and when you use it it pulses again so everyone gets a heal so if you can get a beacon on everybody which is kind of hard 29 costs is a relatively high of a cost but that is pretty good every time you use it it pulses uh it heals everyone second passive is going to be each protected beacon on the battlefield gives kawakawa 2.8 magic resist bonus this effect stacks up to six times so once you have six beacons which is the most you can have out uh then he has six uh, stacks of that, so that's gonna go up to 3.6 magic resist. Uh, I actually, I don't know if you guys ever pay attention, I know I sure don't, uh, the, the actual typing of my enemies, like magic resist first uh, defense. I, I never pay attention to that, if I'm being honest. Let's go into the shackles, just in case there's something else here. At the start of the battle, Kawakawa immediately places a protective beacon on his current grid. So boom, that grid is, the, so it says on his grid, but I, hold on, I wanna reread that a little bit. Does that mean, okay, I, I'm gonna look into that because on his grid, I don't mean that that means it's on him. I wish it just said he places a beacon on himself. On his current grid, it makes it seem as though like you're just putting the protective things on a certain grid. We'll see in a second. Healing goes up for every protective beacon on the build. Uh, he gains a gains a 3% received healing effect. So he heals more for each protective beacon, making him a more sufficient tank. Ultimate goes down by three, making it 26. And then his healing effect goes up one more time. Exclusive crime brand we'll go into when we get there. All right, so I'm assuming Time for some exercise. Time for some exercise. Okay, I'll I'm, be the guy. I'm assuming this is what they want you to do. So he should get a protective beacon immediately. And boom, he gets his little sunlight. So when I move, no, it's, it's attached to him. Okay, so I don't know why they do it. What are they, why are they slowly dying? What's going on? Is, is this what they had to do? Oh God, oh wait. So boom, we're gonna give her something. Is that all you got? Yes, and as you see, it moves with them. So I don't know why they did it like that. I don't know why they. All right, she needs a heal. So, and doing that, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna give her another one. It's gonna heal her up. All right, uh, move this one forward. So I need to move him forward real quick. So this guy moves up. 
Get tanky. Boom. And I get, I'm getting like a, a, extra bonuses now that you, now that you came out of the woodworks, buddy. You can get this work. That's right. Now, technically, it would be better to, to obviously spread the beacons out. Great. Like, now a safety beacon can be placed here too. I'm starting to get suspicious of your safety beacons, cause remember, he's a criminal. He's a sinner. He did something. Just saying. That one's one easier, at least easier to me than uh, stargazers. <laughs> I had to figure, I had to really read for Stargazers because it's a little bit, a uh, little trippy with her. But that is that. But let, let's utilize him in a stage. Now, this is actually where I would say it's good that he heals off the other person's HP, right? So I'm going to use my guy, as you know, level two. He should give himself one. And for purposes, I'll, I'm going to go with the energy one so I can, this isn't going to work. But, so he gives himself a beacon immediately. And then we're gonna give a beacon to our front tank. Shadow follows. Back off. Don't come close. And you can see he's healing pretty good. Keep blessing our front line here. Oh, I didn't get that off in time. So I'm getting 18. She got 50 something. She's getting 21. Okay. Now. Let's keep it a buck. That's extremely low. Uh, so definitely it's it's meant mostly for your frontline characters to keep them alive. Uh, your your other characters that don't have crazy amounts of HP are not gonna heal too too much from it. But that's also gonna mean that when it comes down to skill leveling up, you're probably gonna need to level this up because it's the main thing. The highest you can get this up to is 2%, so it's almost like double um, of what you're healing every two seconds. And every every two seconds, as you see, it, it does pulse enough. So it's just just in, I guess, thing. We, what was her HP again? 46.94. Make sure, I, I just wanna see like 46.94. It was, it was doing it for like, so it is, it should, yeah, it's about double, yeah, yeah. So then she would be healing almost 100 HP Close to 100 HP every turn, right? That's not, uh, not every turn. <laughs> I'm thinking card games. Uh, she'd be clearly like close to 100, which isn't that bad. That that I feel like you might have to, in order for those beacons to be anything, which is a lot of investment, I get it. Um, but I think that you definitely need to l focus on max leveling that before max leveling anything else on this character or else he kind of isn't healing enough. But then again, you do have it every time you put out a beacon, it, it heals, it does a really fat heal, so these 11s going up to almost 20%, that's where you kind of, that's where you make your money back, right? And then he gets tankier with the last one. Also, I forgot to do this last one, this last thing, unyielding magic resist. So he's super magic resist, but again, I never pay attention to what I'm fighting. I just hope that the unit in my tank can tank it. You know, and he does block too, which is cool. Uh, let's see, what else can I look at? Oh yes, what's this exclusive crime brand? Let's go into the crime brand stuff. So after Kawa, Kawa performs a protective beacon, a shockwave will spread from the target grid, immediately restoring 15% HP within 3.3 squares around the grid. So it was cool that we saw um, Stargazers is a one-time usage. This seems like you can, um, it's like a passive that you unlock and it just works going up to 20% max HP. So he's a, he's a really insane healer as a tank, which is, is really like, this kind of character fully invested into is a type of character that allows you to remove a slot. And what I mean by that is that most of the time, uh, where is it? Most of the time, as you saw, like I would have I Hamel. I'm using this guy's Hamel as an example. I would have a Hamel in there, right? And then I would have to still run a tank, a frontliner and stuff like that. But if I didn't need to have a, a uh, healer because I had a sufficient healer then all of a sudden I'm just running him. I've lost him. I lost track of him. All right, there we go Then I'm running him I'll be the guy. And then we can have more of a front line and I know a lot of people run like mostly melee teams and I'm starting to see why Because uh, uh, everyone just kind of blocks and sits in the front and a lot of times these these squishy range people in the back Can't can't hold a candle to what's going on. Uh, so again, it, it's really about and then maybe like have another melee character because a lot of the melees hit uh, a square in front of them, right? So they'll hit whatever is being targeted. Like something like this is really good because uh, Cracky will hit two squares in front 
and while he's blocking and then whatever's coming up next so you start to mow down things right so you have characters like this and then most of these shooters obviously they're fine but you have to invest i feel like investing in one really strong shooter like i think my lux luvia rea is kind of and then emp like having both of them is kind of uh redundant but it depends on who you uh, level up and stuff like that so yeah I actually think he's really good, but he needs, he's a full investment character. Some of the, some characters that I've gone over, you can kind of get away with it. You can kind of get away with using them a little bit, maybe phase one. He needs kind of everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, his phase, uh, phase two thing, his phase two passive is not anything too crazy. This thing, uh, it's whatever, because you might not even fighting something that hits you with magic, but you definitely need phase one, and then you need to have the, the shackles, which you can definitely get right now if you care. Um, and then, of course, the last but not least, you need uh, the Crime Brands. Let's go look at those. All right, so let's go with the Crime Brands. Now, I, in the Stargazing one, I was like, eh, I don't really know if you need a, any of these initial energy ones. But his, since his thing is a little bit different, and once you get a beacon on a character, it kind of sticks. Uh, I do think that it is... I do think that it actually makes a lot more sense to kind of get something like this. Uh, and this is something that's farmable, which is pretty cool. Um, HP, his HP is kind of okay. But uh, I was looking at creation, but he doesn't have any summon thing. But I was just thinking about HP in the slot. I, I do want to keep in mind of what is actually in these slots as well. Sometimes you might not like the thing, but you might want to use it anyway. Uh, Creed of Bulwark. Mwah! Chef's Kiss. Definitely get this. HP percentage, and it only costs one slot to activate. That's in very important to note because now your one in your three slot is actually open. And uh, I actually think like most characters can run a plus one block. Like, it's, that's really good. If it only takes one thing, that's actually nuts. Anywho, uh, let's see what else we got. And this is why I say this also. Like, look at uh, Eastside Dream and Embrace of the Dead. Like, you need all three slots in order for it to be activated. That's why that other one is really good. On, like, almost any character that doesn't need the two slot. Like, say, look at this one. This only requires the one slot on Fury. Initial uh, Hope is the other one. Initial Energy, if you're trying to go that route. And look, this uh, in-host name with the other, the created bulwark, two slot is here, you attack and defense, and then you also get damage taken is reduced by 8% for each enemy block. Those are like any synerg synergistic for any like tank that's in the game. <laughs> like literally any tank, they are now blocking three so they can get up to 24% reduction for each enemy that's blocked. That's actually insane for any, literally any tank in the game. Pretty smashy. This one's pretty good too. Remember the two slots open and you get double HP. Uh, making you a really efficient uh, healer for yourself. And Nightmare Revelation, at the start of the battle, all allied sinners will increase their attack strength and attack speed, and allows your, again, your other sinners to run whatever the hell they want. I kind of like turning zero, uh, but only when you're using chief skills that only cost one. If you're using a chief skill that only costs one, like the shield spam uh, and some other ones, you can actually utilize this pretty snasty, uh, but it, it's definitely not for everybody. Uh, but giving energy and him, uh, again, putting all the beacons, once it, uh, all the beacons are out, you're really uh, efficient. But you technically don't need beacons on everything. Most of the time, you just need it on the front line. So it is what it is. And that seems about it. Those are the best uh, crime brands I think you can use on the guy. Overall, I think a really solid unit. I definitely think that you have to definitely, like I said, invest into this. And then after that, you invest into this. So you just do this. His, uh, his basic attack is completely irrelevant. Uh, you just put all your skill ups. Uh, uh, if you want to skill them up, you just put it into protective beacon and safe route. Uh, this one is cool, I guess. You do that last, you, you just leave his basic attack completely alone. <laughs> There's no reason to invest in his basic attack. What do you guys think of Kawakawa? Do you guys think that... He is uh, really good. Did you uh, did you get him? Did you plan on using him as a frontline tank? I like I said, I might, I definitely might do it because the only tanks that I have, as you can see, uh, are him, uh, Peggy, who's nice, but only thing she does is shield herself. Uh, KK only really benefits herself. <laughs> I like her. Countess uh, Chelsea is really good one. The only problem is that one, she doesn't actually block two. She blocks one, and then she summons the dog that blocks two. So you can also give her that same combo that I said, right? Cre created Bulwark and then the other one. So she can block two. Then uh, she other ones block two, which is really cool. Domala, I think she gain she heals herself every time you use a skill. Uh, a, a sk uh, anyone uses a ultimate skill. So good tanks uh, that I have. But again, I like the fact that he takes up, sorry, that he's able to take the healing aspect and heal everybody out where I and then I can just kind of focus on damage and run a more frontline safe team. There we go, some freaking 
some cheese, some 99. Something like this. Maybe one in the back. Something like that. Like, you know, that's what it, that's what I'm thinking. That's what people sound like people are trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I got another one coming up because there's a character that I read their skills and I almost wet myself. Bet you can't guess it. Bet you can't guess it. And no, it's not because of water. I wet myself because of actually peeing on myself. So, yeah. Good luck guessing it. I'll give you a hit. Damn it. This is also the firefighter. <laughs> I was going to say it's one of these characters. So I just basically told you it's not her. So good luck. <laughs> good luck. And, uh, yeah, good luck. Peace.